Hi Taurus, welcome to this reading. I hope you're well. Here we go. Right, Ten of Wands in reverse. So there's some sort of heaviness this person is carrying. It may not be to do with you. The Two of Pentacles did actually fly out just a moment ago. Um, and the Ace of Wands. So this person, wow, they're stuck. But one, uh, let's not say stuck. Stuck implies they're never moving. Currently, they are in between ending something very heavy and unpleasant and jumping into something new and exciting here. So if you are in... A third party situation you your person and another person or other people or you your person and someone's job someone's mother someone's father someone's great aunt friend whoever if there's a third party energy or person either on either side your person is wanting to wrap up the old or existing thing you know whatever is is currently manifested and stable and to get rid of that and to move forward with you if it's there's no third party if it's just you and your person they're saying they're ready to wrap up the cycle you've been in and uh, begin something new here okay what else can you show us how is this person feeling please and look it's a butterfly they really really are trying to transform trying to grow um actually it's not is it? it's a moth Goodness. Okay, I don't know what a moth represents. Maybe it's something to do with rebirth, I want to say, but have a look if you're interested. But um, along with that message about change, growth, transformation, there might be something additional. Yeah, and look, the world, see, wrapping something up. Your person's incredibly close to, to cycling out whatever this heaviness is. Six of Pentacles. For right now, there does seem to be another influence. They could be worried about money. Um where they live, health. Okay, how else is this person feeling, please? Ten of Cups, look at this, two tens. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, both in reverse. There's there's some situation, could be a family situation, you know, if they have a, um, a partner, kids, that sort of thing, or, or parents, um, but they're not happy in this anymore. Just, just really drained, really, really really unhappy actually like this situation is sucking the happiness out of them and look if i show you the back of the deck we have the queen of pentacles in reverse can be a spouse can be a parent so this is the person they're trying to get away from and look what's poking out the queen of wands this is your energy if you feel like um you know you're the person you have this genuine connection with the person you're watching this reading for but you're not the one that they're committing to. This is your energy and you're in the upright. You're someone that your person sees as the well, the person they want. They see you as outgoing. You know, you you don't I mean you can be an introvert, but it's your energy. You're confident, you go after what you want, you're very warm with people. They see you as being very charismatic, but you've become recently you've become very protective of what you have um, achieved, accumulated, your, you've become protective of your passions, your opportunities. Maybe you were very open with this person in the past, you gave lots of opportunities and now you're a bit more sort of savvy, um, you're a bit more guarded as well. And it's not that they feel bad, you know, that they're, they're, they're not looking at that as being a bad thing. They understand why you, you are that way now, why you maybe want to see action, not just words. Okay, how else is this person feeling about my viewer, please? Oh, wow, look at this. This um, Queen of Pentacles is back. Or the Mother of Pentacles in this deck. We have the Knight of Wands. They're very passionate about you. And they're saying until they cycle out whatever this pre-existing thing is, they can't show up in the way that you want, in the way that you need. You know, action-oriented, action-focused here. So you might be getting some communication, you might be seeing their passion, but there's a lack of stability here because of this third influence, person, situation, energy, whatever it is for your situation. It's really interesting, the only major arcana that we have here, and I find this really exciting, is the world. And this talks about a massive change, something being wrapped up an ending for good and with all the minor arcana around it spirit saying 
All of this small energy is subject to change, but the one consistent factor here is that something big is happening. Something big is changing, is shifting. There's brand new energy coming in, and that is a fact. You know, everything else around it, in and out behavior, this person, that person making an appearance, all of that is insignificant compared to the fact that, that your person's situation is changing, and as a result, your connection with them is shifting. Okay, so that's how they're feeling, really. They're saying they're stuck at the moment. Not stuck, hate that word. Um, they're transitioning at the moment. They are in between this unpleasant situation that they're getting out of and this new opportunity with you that they feel excited about. And they've got to end this old thing first before they can put in proper time and effort and really show up as a partner and build with you. Let's just check in on this Queen of Pentacles and then we'll move on to what action your person's going to take. Tell us about the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Tell us about this. The Hermit. Virgo energy here. Justice in the reverse. Um, Libra. So, this person could be being quite stubborn if, you know, your person maybe even needs to go through a divorce or the separation with this person, this Queen of Pentacles figure might be digging their heels in and saying, no, I don't want to talk about this, I don't want to hear about this. Wow, let's get another one. Ooh, does this person know about you? If this person doesn't know if it is a person that you, your person, has a third party, you, God, that got confusing. <laughs> if this Queen of Pentacles does not know that your person has you, um, they may suspect. They might also be saying to your person, no, I don't want to separate. I don't want to let you go. I don't want to go through a divorce because I know the second that happens, you're going to go off and be happier without me. Why should you be happy? And I'm stuck here with, I don't know, some sort of responsibility. In this... Um, depiction we have what looks like sort of like a baby deer or a baby lamb here so maybe there's a child involved could be a young child and this queen of pentacles is saying no you know you can't just get up and leave you have to stay we have to take care of the child together or um i'm not doing this on my own something like that okay so let's have a look. What action is your person, you know, what do they want to do? What action are they likely to take? What action are they thinking of taking? Spirit, can you show us the person my viewer has in mind? What actions is this person likely to take in the near future? We have the Nine of Cups. So they are going to put themselves first. They are going to put their wish fulfillment first. And their wish is you. This could be someone who right now might be turning to something like drink, you know, as a distraction um, from their emotions or, or any anything really that um, is pleasurable and also a distraction. Nothing, I, I feel some of you worrying what other people, no, no, like um, food, drink, TV, you know, that sort of thing. Nine of Wands in reverse. So they don't want to struggle anymore. They're tired. They don't want to fight. They don't want to carry burdens on their own. Okay, what other action, please? Two of Cups in reverse. So if you have fallen out with your person, they, you know, they don't want to be separate from you anymore. They don't want any more arguments, so they might want to reconcile with you. They have the Nine of Coins. So underneath the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Coins. So this person is going to free themselves. They are going to become a single separate um, entity who can go after who it is and what it is that they want and spirits making sure that happens with the world they're watching you as well right now um, I normally with the nine of coins that's someone who is admired by others but in this deck it really makes me feel that this person is watching you behind these glasses Okay, what else please? Three of Wands in the reverse. 
tell me again what else for that two of coins in reverse yeah the thing that they're struggling with is being taken away because there's you know everything that your person tries with this other person or this other situation to move it forward it's like they hit a dead end none of their manifestations there are coming through none of their effort is paying off and that is completely for a reason it, you know the divine is saying no there will be no more growth here because you have to move on we're going to make it so uncomfortable for you that you have no choice but to move forward okay two of cups in the reverse please ace of coins so yeah this person and look see how they're watching you and they're holding on to this coin so it's like they're trying to find the right time, the right way, the right offer, opportunity to bring forward to you. And this um, card always makes me think of a marriage. You know how people can um, go to sort of abroad or to warmer climates and, and get married um, by the beach and that sort of thing. Um, so maybe this person's in their mind, they're thinking of, of eventually getting married. Or if you are together they might want to to propose um if you're already married maybe like renew your wedding vows or, or whatever you know but, but really thinking of a really significant tangible commitment they're really really watching you scrutinizing you this is making me laugh <laughs> look at her eyes it's like so she's sort of squinting like hmm what are you doing over there let's see It, you know, maybe this coin they're holding on to is incredibly precious to them, whatever this is. And they're really trying to see, is this the right time? Should I offer this? How should I offer this? Four of cups. Yes. So they have a coin and a cup. They have emotion and they have something practical that they want to bring to you. The fall. And that's going to initiate a new beginning. So we've got Aries energy there. Okay. So what action is this person going to take? To, to free themselves from, um, you know, a spouse, the influence of their family, friends, work, money, situation, whatever that is, becoming basically independent and single. And they're watching you. So for now, it's figuring out this ten of wands situation that doesn't involve you. You know, they, it's not to do with you and keeping an eye on you. I do feel that they will come forward um, with this, this coin though, this ace of coins, but they want to be absolutely sure um, that maybe you don't have anybody else's coin, you know, that um, you will accept theirs. This person's holding back a lot. There's a lot of feeling here they've not shared and um, some sort of commitment, some sort of effort they want to put in. I'm being drawn to this car in the background. Um, I don't really know why. It could be like this person has, there's a lot around them. Maybe they have nice things or something like that. But, but the thing they're most interested in is what you're doing and you. That they could have all these sorts of shiny things around them, but it's not distracting them. Maybe... You felt this way in the past that your person had options or, or distractions and you weren't of importance and now you're the only thing that they seem to be interested in looking at and watching okay so let's see what else do you need to know so i think give this person some time they actually might be quite quiet at the moment um, to figure out whatever this ending is um, and just know that in the meantime they're keeping an eye on you and it does look like they are going to come forward for a new beginning. What you need to know, see the devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, but they're untangling themselves from something heavy, burdensome, sticky. The devil isn't upright, it's in the reverse, so that it's like they're getting there, you know, getting to the point of, of freeing themselves. We have, yeah, see the world in reverse. They really are doing this. It may have been something that you've waited for for a while. It could even be years. We have the emperor absolutely standing up, taking charge, taking control, more Aries energy. And, you know, there are a couple of ways to look at these sorts of situations. If um, 
let's say the thing you've been waiting for your person to leave behind is a relationship or you know that kind of thing you could say well if they become single and come towards me i'm not interested because i don't want to be second best i can't believe i have to wait so long for them to choose me the other way i mean and this is you know no judgment it's entirely up to you i'm just sort of putting it out there the other way is to say well if we believe everything happens for a reason and this person is showing up differently might we assume that that relation happened to help them work through some obstacles or some karmic patterns or cycles that they weren't going to figure out by being with me immediately you know so they've worked through those and now they're coming towards me more healed so you know see where you stand see how you feel and you know your situation of course if this is someone who's literally just been stringing you along that's obviously different to someone who was making the best decisions they could at the time and perhaps got things a bit wrong you know at least in the 3d um so you know you you apply it as it fits we have strength in reverse on the back leo energy but strength is the only card the only energy that overcomes the devil and you see how they're doing this they really are strength and the devil so what we're, we're seeing is them transitioning soon we'll get the strength upright and then you know they're free so yeah, this person's really really sort of doing as much as they can as well as they can to move themselves forward three of cups yeah getting rid of this third influence but also looking forward to how can they move this forward with you can you meet can you speak we have death in reverse yeah see um heading towards that ending that transformation we have scorpio energy here and the tower on the back more scorpio energy but i mean look we've got the world we've got death we've got the tower yeah you guys can see that there is a big ending um i just had the final showdown so they might have a big blow up with this uh, other situation a big argument something like that okay so while your person is doing their thing and while you are being watched by them let's get you some advice some guidance okay archangels what will it be helpful for my viewers to know at this time breathe yeah so your job right now is to just relax take care of yourself take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns healthy lifestyle eat a healthful diet get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health so you see how this is all about taking care of you there's no need i don't feel to reach out to um you know to, to sort of try and push this forward or to take any action really um okay and we have counselor you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance so you could have a very healing presence also this card is a reminder you know you always have support in the 5d that you can call on you don't have to carry everything by yourself um so remember to invite the archangels in or your spirit guides ancestors to help you because they can't interfere because you have free will they can't sort of just come forward without you inviting them oh and look divine order on the back everything is how it needs to be right now look past the illusion and see underlying order could be um, a libra involved we've got justice again so someone might be going through divorce or separation animal spirit guides what messages do you have for these my viewers oh wow we have peacock let yourself stand out and be noticed okay so have you been hiding your light under a bushel um i mean you've got a lot to offer a lot to give and i think if you really put yourself out there you're going to find that, that many people are admiring you whether that's in a romantic sense whether people just want to get close to you and be friends maybe people will want to partner up with you in terms of work okay oh my goodness yes so we have ladybug this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all good things in your life and that's what i mean if you if you really go after what it is you're wanting at the moment and let yourself be seen i feel that you're going to um, be attracting lots of, of good things towards you and we have grouse 
Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So this could be grounding yourself, doing something that's physical, um, you know, and with that card about healthy lifestyle, really taking care of your body as well. And, you know, your physical health. OK, so I will leave this here. Um, I'm going to see the one question, one card reading. So if you would like to enter, please leave your question in the comments and I'll enter you for Wednesday's um, draw. Thank you for everyone who's left questions already. Um, I hope this reading has been helpful. It looks like, you know, something very significant is about to happen. I feel it really is the wrapping up of, of a long cycle here. Um, and honestly, just take care of yourself and let this abundance come to you. Okay, so if you're heading off here, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again um, either tomorrow for the bonus reading or Wednesday. And if you're sticking around, I'm going to clear this away and then we'll do the one question, one card. Okay, so today's winner is Chris Campbell, who says, should I just move on from my person? So Spirit, what messages do you have for Chris, please? Should Chris just move on from this person? Oh, wow. OK. Wow, we have a few. So we have um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the lovers. So first of all, I can see why you feel um, drawn to this person, to this connection, because even though there's nothing stable perhaps coming through right now, we have the lovers, which is an incredible bond on a soul level. Queen of Cups, I wonder if this person is being emotionally closed off or distant right now. King of Pentacles, definitely not offering commitment. And the moon in the reverse. OK, so this person looks like they're not trusting their intuition, um, their gut feeling, which is probably pulling them towards you. Let me just check what's going on with the moon. I feel there's something that needs to come to light. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. There could be a third party situation that this person needs to leave to be with you. And they're saying, no, I don't want to go there. I don't want to deal with that stress right now. I don't want to open a can of worms. Or this person's intuition is telling them that you are a good person to to commit to, to, you know, to be more stable with. So should you just move on? I kind of feel it's not going to be that simple um, with this lovers here. I feel your ego brain is telling you. This isn't physically, tangibly going anywhere, so just leave. And in any other situation, I bet that you would have by now. But if you try to do that, and maybe if you have, when you've tried to do that, you find that you're drawn back in because of the potential here, because of the emotional connection, the energetic connection. So I think instead of saying, yes, you should move on or not, because I, I'm not sure it's possible right now and you might just be torturing yourself, maybe we should have a look at what can you do? What is the best advice for you right now? So let me have a look. Because with the lovers, I feel there's a big decision that someone needs to make that they're not. And also, I do feel these feelings are mutual, even if they're not being expressed, which both of you can feel, which keeps you holding on. So, Spirit, what is your best advice for Chris, please, right now? Page of coins reversed. Page of cups. Six of wands. Seven of swords in reverse. Okay. Um... If you're, you know, if you're communicating, I think keep going for that. Keep speaking. Um, try to keep the communication as open, direct and as, as honest as possible, um, which I'm sure you're doing anyway. Six of Wands. You know, keep striving, keep pushing forward, keep being successful, keep um, putting yourself out there, putting yourself first. So, you know, honestly, this just feels like it's saying keep doing you. Don't keep yourself stuck. You might want to keep the lines of communication open with your person. That might be the most um, thing, the most in alignment thing for you to do right now. But I'm not seeing, like I said, an offer or stability coming through right now. So, I mean, it's just difficult. It's basically keep moving forward, keep doing you, but you probably will keep thinking about this person, you know. Um, so don't torture yourself right now to try and just move on because I'm not sure it's going to be possible at this moment in time and you will just end up feeling cross with yourself. Um, you see, you see you've got the Page of Cups and the Six of Wands. So he's still looking back at this person here, um, even though he is continuing to move forward. So maybe just be gentle with yourself and accept that you feel how you feel and things will naturally change um, over time. 
And there's a reason, there's a reason you still feel this attachment because both of you feel it, you know, but neither of you want to let the other go. But I do feel there's some stuck energy with this person. There's a bit of a refusal to look at um, or to look at things that might be difficult. And all you can do with that is say, okay, well, I'm going to keep growing. And, you know, um, I hope that you will face this fear when you're ready um, but I'm not going to keep myself stuck and at the same time I'm not going to bash myself over the head with a saucepan if I have a thought about you you know so I hope that helps basically probably just keep doing what I assume you're already doing and just be kind to yourself in the meantime okay so thank you everyone I will speak to you soon take care and have a lovely um, rest of the day bye